Alright guys, Scarface130 with you here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a high definition and transparent background logo or spray for Gary's mod. Alright, so you're going to need something called paint.net right here and then you're going to need something called VTF edit. Now I'll put both the links in the description. Fine, but I'm going to use this picture right here. And what you want mostly for beginners, you want to be able to make the background a completely different color from, say, your spray. Like, a bad spray would be... A bad sp This wouldn't be a very good spray because the horse is white and it might start cutting out that. So you're going to want one that looks like this. No white on the guy. Around the edges at least. Alright, so what's your so when you download paint.net you're gonna have this if you for whatever logo you have. Now you're gonna wanna come up here to image and go to resize or just push control R for the short key. And make sure the maintain aspect radio right here but under by absolute size is not checked because you won't be able to do what you need. Now the rest the width is gonna be five twelve. This is the maximum for. This is a size for the Gary's Mod Spray, and uh, the height is 512. Now, if you're doing a signature or something for another forum website, that's fine. You can make it other things, but you don't come out to here. Don't worry, that won't look blurry when we're done. So what you want to do is come over here to this one tool right here, and you're gonna want to select it and make sure the tolerance is about 50. I like to keep it at 50 because it usually catches on everything. Then you click on whatever part you want to delete. Like, I want to get rid of all the white, but see? Now you see how it's cutting into the blue right there? If it's on your picture and you don't want that to get cut out, then you turn down the tolerance a little bit. And now you see it's not on my picture at all. Once you do that, you want to click Delete. And then that's what it looks like when it's transparent. And I don't want this white under his legs, so I'll delete that. And I might not want that, so it's going to go away. Now you're stuck with this, and what you need to do now is that's all transparent, and that's fine. So you want to go to File, Save As, and name whatever you want. I'll put Spray Gmod Spray. Now save it in a place you'll remember. For me, I'll just save it into my desktops. But you want to make sure, click on this little thing down here. Make sure it's a .tga, or else it will not work in VTF Edit. So you want to save that. You want to choose auto detect. Click OK. Now you're going to want to wait for it to save. We'll just minimize that. Pull up VTF edit. This is what's going to make it the high resolution. So you want to go to file. Import. You don't want to do open because to get to TGA in, you want to import it. So you go to import. You find out where you, you saved it. In this place I saved it in my documents. Open that up. And make sure do uncheck resize and uncheck generate mip maps. And this right here is what it should look like. So I'll leave that on for a little bit so you can get everything the same. But this might stuff might not be the same for you. You click OK. Now some pictures, the background where you cut it off is all black. And that's fine, that just means it's gonna be transparent. So then you go to file. Then you go to save as. You name it. I'm going to name mine Gmod Spray Finish so I know that it's the one that's done. But you want to save it in a certain place. So you want to go down to your local disk C. And if you have Windows, it's going to be Program Files Times 86. Then you want to scroll down until you see Steam. Double click on that. Then you want to scroll down until you see Steam Apps. Then you want to go to the common. Click on Gary's Mod, or if you had TF2, you'd click on TF2. This one's for Gary's Mod, so you click on Gary's Mod. Click on Gary's Mod again. Then you scroll down until you see Materials right here. Double click it. Go down until you see something called VGUI. Click it. 
I don't want too far. Double click feature on. Then it should be a logos. Double click logos. And this is where you're going to save it. Now I already have sprays. So you want to save it in there. Now it's saved. Then what I do is I create a VMT folder. I'm not sure if you need to. But you might want to do it. And then you just create one in here. Then you create another one. Go to UI. Create one in there. And that's done for the spray. I'll see you when I open up Gary's Mod and I show you this way. Alright guys, I'm back. And now I'm going to show you how to upload your spray into Gary's Mod and be able to spray it. So, when you're in the menu, you want to, you cannot do this when you're in a server. So you want to open that up, go to multiplayer, that's my current spray, go to import spray. Yeah, click on import spray, and you want to click on Gary's Mod. Then you want to go down and find the materials again. Once you find that, double click on it. Then we'll find VGUI again. Double click. Go back to logos. Find where it is. So I named mine as this. Double click it. It should show. It might show a black because its background texture is transparent, but that's fine. So you want to click apply. I click it twice, then OK. Alright, guys, so now I'm going to show you my spray. Alright, uh, here we go. Hold on, let me go into first person. Now there you go, it's not as HD as I planned it to be because it's kind of a small photo. But yeah, it's transparent in the back. These arms kind of blend in. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want me to go slower or if you just want, like, a different tutorial, alright? Any, or any other Gmod videos.